Hi, so this is going to be a time lapse of me um, cleaning a frog skeleton, two frog skeletons, but only one I could put back together. The other one I just cleaned the bones and just put back together the skull. It's just going to be a long enough, longer video compared to my others, but it's just going to be about cleaning this frog skeleton. Now, what I, when I find my bones, they're usually either clean or a bit of dried stuff on them so what how i'd usually clean them is put them in you can still do this with frogs or small bones but it's quite hard to re-articulate all the little tiny little toe bones and stuff so what i'd advise doing with those is um smaller bones is using a needle and just put like um using the needle to like and um, get all that and um, get in between the ribs and stuff and the hip with frogs sorry if i'm going off track it's just really interesting with frogs they actually have like a elongated pelvis so they have pro their pelvis is actually so their hip bone is probably longer than the vertebrae itself which is really interesting or at least with the common frog the frog they most common frog in ireland um so it's like tr it's made of three different bones one like thin bone in the middle and then two bit tin bones on the outside and yeah but and as i was saying i just get a needle and go in between all the little nooks and crannies and just get poke all that little dried flesh and stuff out of the thing with the out of the bones with the needle and then if it's not coming off then i'd say be very gentle and rip it just rip the skin off and then also yeah, like the other method that I was mentioning, I wouldn't advise doing it with smaller bones, but you could. That's what I usually use with like bigger bones, like fox, um, rabbit, sometimes uh, sheep, deer, those kind of bones. What you could do is um, and badger. What you could do is you biological washing powder, like the stuff that you put in, say ah. Uh, the stuff that you put in like your washing machine if you don't use um tablet washing tablets um yeah you put that in a uh, thing of not boiling but warm water boiling water usually destroys smaller bones and then you put that in and just leave that soak and then replace it every couple of hours it depends how long you want to put it in if you want to spend that much time picking off the rest of the stuff if you want to leave it in for say a day then it should on smaller animals like foxes it should be good but yeah that's the other method that i use and then if you i don't personally use this because i don't have access to it but you could use hydrogen peroxide like the stuff that you use to whiten hair I think the mixture is like something like 3% for cleaning like smaller bones. I can't remember. And But the most you want to put in is like 30% peroxide. Well, you could do 50, but I wouldn't advise doing any more than 50. And I just with daunting with peroxide is re the chemicals can like burn your eyes out. So be really careful with that. And... Yeah, the rest of... There's two different skeletons. Like, one, I just kept the skull, like I mentioned before, I think. And the other, I made into a full skeleton. I have all the bones off the other skeleton, but it just wouldn't put back together because half of them are snapped and stuff. And then, once you've done that, you like I said, you just hot glue. You have to be really careful, but just hot glue all the joints and things that have fallen off back together. And there you have, like, a perfect little frog skeleton. And then I suppose you could pose it, like mine's like it's jumping. But you could like have it before it jumps or have it like resting. You Same with anything, it's like an art form. But that's basically how to do it. Also, sorry if the... What was I going to... Yeah, sorry if the... Like half the video, the camera's out of focus and it's not it's not in where the i'm cleaning it so basically like it's not where i'm cleaning it
stupid me, I didn't realise that the camera wasn't actually facing the right direction. But, yeah, after... Yeah, once you have hot glue it, it's pretty much done. Thank you so much for watching so far. And I'll put on um, music for the rest of it. Bye. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that quick or longer time lapse. So this is skeleton and the skull when it's completely done. Again, I've got mixed up with the camera out there, but um, I think it ended up pretty good. Bye.